Uh, hello, everybody. This is a Catholic Dad episode number seven. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about. Um, I, by the way, we have a new upgrade. I'm on an iPad now versus my iPhone, and uh, I want to talk to you about uh, pro-life. And I wanted to make a secular argument for the pro-life movement. And the reason why this is is uh, sometimes when we make religious arguments based upon religious grounds, we drive away secular people. And it's typically the secular people that are having the abortions. And if the point of our whole movement is to save lives and save souls, perhaps we should modify our arguments to make secular arguments to secular people so we can convince them of the integrity of our positions. And so uh, here goes. Here's my argument for you. Um, uh, let's see. So what is a human... Or so what we're talking about today, we're talking about the, uh, the right to life and the right to abortion. Uh, th those are the two rights that are claimed. And so I want to uh, pose an argument to you, what, or a uh, question to you. What is... A right, and I will argue to you to answer your question, right, and make the answer, is that uh, a right is something that's um, something we're free to exercise that imposes no obligation on other people. For example, my right to uh, speak today, to speak freely through this YouTube channel, episode number seven, by the way, uh, is uh, my right and it imposes no obligation on anybody else. You're free to turn it off and it harms uh, nobody in the process of me doing this. And so that's, that's my definition of a right uh, for all intents and purposes. And so where do our rights come from? We in the religious world, as uh, being Catholic dad, um, we, we claim our rights to come from the Almighty or the, uh, the Creator. And um, I think uh, Thomas Jefferson would have agreed with us in the Declaration of Independence. But when we pose a religious argument, when we pose an argument that our rights come from God, those who do not believe in God, the people who are having the abortions, might drive them away from our position. And so I would suggest to you that if you want to appeal to the secular world about the integrity of the pro-life position, perhaps a better way of saying it would be um, that our, right come, our rights come from our very existence. The fact that we are, the fact that we're human beings, we walk this earth, uh, we breathe air on this planet, uh, uh, that we are deserving of human rights. And I think that would appeal to most people in the secular world because if you think about it, that's the very reason that they claim their right to abortion, that uh, they exist, they have reproductive rights, and therefore they claim their rights because of their human humanity. And so, uh, therefore, our rights come from uh, our very existence, or our creation if you're religious, but let's state they come from our existence. Now, uh, the great Saint Augustine once said that truth cannot contradict itself. Truth cannot contradict truth. And so let's think about this in, uh, in terms of the sky color. So we can, state, make two, we can make two statements. The sky is blue, the sky is uh, red. Uh, sometimes the sky is blue and sometimes the sky is red. So if I state the sky is blue, um, I could, or I, well, if we have two statements, the sky is blue and the sky is red, um, either one of three possibilities are correct. Either the sky is blue or the sky is red, or the sky is not either one of those, right? The sky could be blue and then the sky is red is wrong. The sky could be red and then the sky is blue is wrong, or the sky could be gray and it could be both wrong. So if we talk about the right to abortion, now let's think about this. Hold on. So if rights are innate to our very existence, that's the argument we're using to the secular world, then they must be true because our existence is true, right? And what we're talking about now are two rights, the right to life and the right to abortion. Those statements contradict one another, right? You can't have the right to life and have the right to abortion. You can't have the right to abortion and have the right to life. So only one of three possibilities exist. Let's break this down a little bit more. And let's, uh, let's ask ourselves a question. Is there anywhere in the, in the world where we don't have the right to life or we don't have the right to abortion? And I would argue, yeah, there, there, are, many, there are some places, China being one of them, North Korea being another, that uh, the government can come in and tell you, uh, you, you have to have a baby. Uh, you can't have a baby. We can sterilize you. If, you. if you're having a baby, we could abort your baby. And so in, um, in those communist nations, uh, you ha have neither a right to life or a right to abortion. And I think most people, uh, both within the religious world and the pro-life world and within the uh, pro-abortion and secular world, would agree that that's a massive violation of human rights. And so therefore, using deductive reasoning, both cannot be wrong. I agree with that, right? So let's move on. So now that we've um, uh, eliminated the factor that they're both wrong, one of them has to be correct. So let's ask a question. Can you have an abortion without life? And the answer is unapologetic no. You can't. Because all people that participate in abortion must first have life. Correct? So if you 
you have to be alive before you can actually have an abortion. So let's go one step further. Can you have life without an abortion? And the answer is an unapologetic yes. Of course you can, because uh, if you're born, that means you didn't have an abortion. So you, you, you can have life without abortion. And uh, in some ways, if you think about it, that's the very existence of life. And so therefore, in that argument, uh, life is the right that are, is linked to our, our very existence. It's the one that is innate to us as human beings, and therefore, because it contradicts the right to abortion, the right to abortion must be wrong. And therefore, the right to life has to be correct. And I'll go one step further, just uh, a little bit further. If you take abortion to the maximum, um, and you abort every uh, pregnancy on the planet, you would extinct the human race in one generation. Therefore, it cannot be cannot be an intrinsic human right because then it would eliminate all human beings in one in one generation. And uh, I'm just going to caution. I'm going to caution the, uh, the the pro-abortion crowd and the secular crowd. And just think about this when you go home. That if you act in a manner incongruent with the very manner in which you claim your rights, then have you you have no claim to your rights at all, and you'll reduce everybody to absolute despotism. So, uh, therefore, I want to thank you. This is a Catholic Dad, episode number seven. Um, and this is the argument, a uh, secular argument for the pro-life movement. And perhaps you can share this with your friends. Uh, you can um, uh, subscribe. You can like it. Uh, pass it on. And uh, God bless you all. Pray the, uh, pray the daily rosary. Try to get to confession. Try to be a good person. And uh, I'm going to sign off. Uh, thank you.